Extraordinary Dogs is brought to you by You Can Uber, where we believe all dogs are extraordinary. These Labrador puppies are destined for a bright future, transforming people's lives. Their home is the Canine Companions for Independence in Santa Rosa, California. When they're bigger, these puppies will be trained to be special assistance dogs. For now though, it's all about being puppies. Emily Williams is a CCI volunteer. For over 21 years, her job has been to take puppies, like these, home to nurture and socialize them, preparing them for their work in later years. These dogs will be expected to behave appropriately in trains, in airplanes, on long motor trips, in industrial circumstances, in libraries, in church, in banks, in restaurants. We want a dog that actually assists a person, doesn't interfere with a person's daily activities. To do that, they have to have sang Freud in every situation they're in. CCI is the largest assistance dog organization in the world and it was all established by one particular dog lover, Charles Schultz, creator of the complicated and lovable Snoopy. Schultz and his wife Jean's aim was to provide trained dogs for free to those most in need. The organization carefully selects and breeds Labrador and Golden Retrievers and crosses of the two. Apart from their ease working with humans, there is another more subtle advantage for the choice of breed acting as a social bridge for people with disabilities. Nobody can resist cuddling a friendly Labrador. Once a puppy is returned by a volunteer puppy raiser, like Emily, at 15 months old, it embarks on a stringent six-month training course with a professional instructor. Keith Reed is an instructor and will take these dogs through a rigorous two-stage course. Yes. At some point in that process, we start to direct the dog's training path towards one of the four categories that we uh, provide for our clients. One of the categories is hearing. These dogs are placed with the deaf and hard of hearing. Dogs are specifically used for the hearing impaired because of their superior audio recognition. Dogs can detect sounds as low as 67 hertz, such as thunder in the distance, just as we can. But their high frequency hearing is far superior to ours, right up to 45,000 hertz, 10 times higher than a squealing soprano. Dogs can detect sounds up to 200 meters away that humans could only hear at 20 meters. And they can pinpoint the precise origin of a sound about four times the distance we can. But how does a dog's superior frequency hearing make them great for assisting those with hearing difficulties? A dog's directional hearing is very different to that of humans. If you think about the humans, we have two ears, one on each side of our head. And if we want to look at the direction where the sound is coming from, we have to move our head. Now, the dog is very different. It can rotate, it can tilt, it can move its ear into a position where it can localize the sound. And they can localize the sound in as little as six one hundredth of a second, and they can accurately pinpoint where that sound is coming from. And that's very different to the human ear. Add to this a list of commands that allows its owner really to communicate with the dog, and suddenly for a deaf person, a whole new world opens up. 